हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मंजीत कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट रामा यूनिवर्सिटी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजियोथेरेपी सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम क्लिनिकल फैक्ट एंड क्लिनिकल पैरामीटर्स रिलेटेड टू फिजियोथेरेपी एक्चुअली आई हैव सीन इन न्यूमरस केसेस और न्यूमरस सीनेरियोज दैट द फिजियोथेरेपी प्रोफेशनल्स आर नाट एबल टू यूज द थ्रैप्यूटिक क्राइटेरिया एंड थ्रैप्यूटिक डोजेज प्रॉपरली दैट्स वाई देयर इज अ लैक ऑफ नॉलेज एंड सम काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स दैट इज फेस्ड बाई द फिजियोथेरेपी प्रोफेशनल्स सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट हाउ टू यूज द क्लिनिकल पैरामीटर्स वाट आर दे एक्चुअली एंड वाट इज देयर इम्पॉर्टेंस so these are the numbers of things where we have to focus as a physiotherapist actually this is always seen that almost always more than 90% of physiotherapy professionals are not able to use the these clinical parameters properly so we want to highlight there some most important clinical facts or facts about the physiotherapy treatments from which we can gain the maximum positive results after treatment so it is the very important things that we are going to discuss in this video so what is the clinical parameters and facts as we are seeing here over the board that there is a some things which is what is the dose what is the optimal stress and what is the muscle strength balancing these are not mentioned any books actually these are created by myself physical or practical experience on the basis of that we have developed these things or these criteria will be beneficiary to all the students and professionals if they use properly so we are there they lose some clinical facts results get deteriorated so what is this first one is if we ask about the drugs simple so there is a comparison between the drugs and physical treatment or physical medicines we can say so what is the usually almost most of the populations are known to they know that what is the steroids steroids in the medicine simply they are the substances or prescriptions preparations which are used for the treatment of the any infective conditions or any inflammatory conditions so what is the role of the steroid they are concerned with mostly the mask the infections or inflammations so they are temporarily decreases the conditions which is flare up so they reduce the effects of that conditions or infections which may be ultimately results in the mask up of that condition actually they are not going to treat any kind of infections or inflammatory conditions rather than they reduces or they mask up the infections for the sometimes means they are useful only on the temporary basis so if we compare these things from the physical treatment which is one is manipulations manipulations we can say it is like that the steroids manipulations also effective temporarily means if we manipulate any structures 
then there will be there will be some results which is are temporarily reduces symptoms temporarily reduces but they are not longer so manipulation a kind of steroids right and another one is painkillers if we focus on the medicines so there are some medicines you know uh, they are painkillers for example some uh, nemesulides acyclophenic diclofenic chlorjoxazine etc so these painkillers which reduces the pain generally in any kind of pain we can give in a general basis mostly these painkillers and parallel to this in the physiotherapy mostly most of the cases we uses to reduce or decrease the pain some modalities which are diathermy and others are tens ift so ultrasound even so these are the some modalities which uses to reduce the pain in the electro therapy to to gain the maximum effects of treatment so we can say painkillers and diathermy these are the parallel to each other when we try to compare between the painkillers and diathermy and others relevant modalities to relieve the pain so now next i want to discuss about what are the doses optimal stress and muscle strength balancing so first one is dose actually most of the patients or even physiotherapy professionals they think that physiotherapy doesn't have any kind of dose actually the parameters which we uses in the treatment they are relevant to doses like dose in the form of first one if we consider about the electrotherapy there is intensity and second one is pulse width and third one is pulse duration so these are uh, the mostly components which regulate the dose for example if we take any medicines painkillers or steroid like that so there is a some od medicine bd or tds means we have to use once in a day twice in a day or thrice a day like that we have to use the same way some intensity in the physio in the electrotherapy uh, modalities and pulse width and pulse duration and sometimes this pulse duration is on and sometimes it is off so these actually intensity what are they they are a kind of dose another one pulse duration pulse width they are a, they are what actually they are the dose they are components of the dose as we seen over the strip in any uh, medical prescriptions where is a some contents so they use this sodium is this potassium is this like this in the electrotherapy there is a intensity which regulate the doses there is a pulse width which also regulate the doses and pulse duration which some which is sometimes on and sometimes off so these all together makes a dose so these all are the parameters or components to regulate or govern the doses 
So we can't say that in the physiotherapy there is no dose, no criteria for the regulate the treatment. Actually, we don't know properly about this. So that's why we are saying like this. And these doses, when medically there is a OD, BD, or TDS, like that, we have to use the modalities OD medicine. So here, one session. BD two times means physiotherapy will have to be provided for twice a day, means two sessions. There will be two sessions. So two sessions will be there. Next, like that we can go up to three times a day, means three sessions in a day in the physiotherapy, electrotherapy, whether or whether this is the exercise therapy. So these are the things that we have to include or conclude the treatment. These are the important facts which should be used in the treatment to gain the maximum result. Second one is optimal stress. So what is the optimal stress? Whether we are using during the exercise therapy, exercise therapy. So optimal stress in the sense when we use the force that should be optimum. Whether we are using through the exercise or movement performed or during mobilization or manipulation. So optimal stress is the very important fact where we use the force in a proper way, in a sufficient amount from which we can get efficient result. So optimum stress is the very important or crucial factor while we are going through the treatment, whether there are some movement or performed, means ROM exercises in the form of active, passive, and etc., or manipulation or mobilizations. So he, here we have to consider always the optimum stress that is very crucial. Next, third one is muscle strength balancing. Actually, what is meant by this? This is nothing but muscle strength balancing. If we want to move a person with some difficulties in walking and for example, he or she have power of quadriceps muscles up to three, not more than this. And we actually, during walking, as a professional, mostly focus on the quadriceps muscles. We forget about the hems. which is equally important as quadriceps. Hems is properly should be analyzed and assessed for their power. So if there is hems at least grade two or quadriceps grade three, person can made to walk. But if there is a quadriceps grade 4, hems is 1 or below 1 means 0, then definitely you can make the patient walk. So these are the importance, means 
here there should be always a ratio of power between the quadriceps and hands means both quadriceps and muscles should be in a proper amount or proper ratio means both should be balanced so both uh, strength of both these muscles should be in a balance that's why we can say muscle strength balancing is another criteria to gain the maximum efficient results so i think this video or these criteria which are not actually mentioned in the book we had created these things on the by my own practice and experience so professionals physiotherapy professionals and students will be benefited by this okay thanks